Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and yet another video on the Skidoo. Okay, so I have to apologize. Uh, I just went riding this weekend and I got zero footage. For some reason, I don't know, I don't know what the deal has been with my GoPro. I don't know if it needs a software update or what, but I hit record, it records for like 10 seconds and it cuts out. So every single video I went to take this weekend just, it didn't turn out. So uh, don't hate me for it, but I hope to get some riding footage soon. I gotta figure the GoPro out, figure out what the heck is wrong with it. So I don't, I don't know what it is about the seven, but the, the update screwed it up. The, it, it messed it up, so. Okay, for today, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the uh, hood on a Summit XM. So um, you guys are probably like, oh, it's easy, it's just a couple bolts. Well, there's a couple tricks to it. And one being, one being the uh, um, airbox connection there, and then there's a hose on the other side and you have a couple electrical connectors, but um, it's kind of a tricky one, kind of a tricky one. So um, yeah, let's break it down. Our side panels are pretty easy. You got one um, rubber clip there, one down here by the brake, and you got a clip right here. If yours isn't broken, like mine isn't, then it'll hold it in. So you can see there's a little button there and there is the clip. Um, so that gets you access to your clutch side and then this panel is super nice. It just, you pull up on it and then bring it down and it comes off. Top, bottom, pull our top. Okay, open it up, here. Down, there we go, all right. Okay, so that exposes our exhaust side, um, our chain case, uh, oil fill, everything on that side that we need. And then this side is basically our clutch and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this clutch cover off because I need to look at some stuff, check my belt deflection and all that. So um, to do that, pull your pin, set it where you won't lose it. I usually set it right there. And then this has a tab. Anyway, right up, in, yeah, there you go. Right up in there, there's this little um, knob. It's kind of a little stem that sticks up. And the cover has to slide in the groove of that stem or else it won't work. Also, right down in here, there is a hook that latches in down there. So remove that, just lift this up, get it off that stem, just like I did, and then pull this sideways, and the whole thing comes out. And there is our beautiful secondary and primary clutch. Now I'm gonna blow this out with air, um, just clean all the, uh, you know, the belt dust and stuff like that that gets in the clutch, and uh, get it all cleaned up. Okay, so now the next thing you're gonna need is a T25 Torx bit, and that will remove all the bolts you need to get the hood off. Um, I got it on my little Milwaukee Ratchet. If you don't got yourself a Milwaukee Ratchet, get yourself a Milwaukee Ratchet. They're freaking awesome. Okay, working from the top here, we're gonna take out these two Torx bits, or bolts. Got one right there, and one on the other side. And these two are easy to tell apart because they have a little rubber um, washer right there. And so you know that these ones go back on the gauge cluster. So what the heck? Stuck. Is it stuck? Yep, there it is. Okay, don't forget your rubber washer. Okay, next thing, if you've got a windshield, remove it. Just with plastic grommets is all. You got one over here, and then you got one in the middle. Just pull it straight out, and there's your rubber grommets right there. Um, and then, obviously, the corresponding pins on the uh, um, little shield there. I don't have a windshield. I just have the little mini deflector. So um, that exposes the rest of your screws. So... All right, now with those out, remove them, and we can start working on the gauge cluster and the get access down there. So once those are up, you can, uh, oh, sorry, I forgot, two more bolts. Okay, coming around on the side here, there's one right here, and then one on the opposite side. 
Okay, now, as you can see, the whole hood is pretty much loose. Um, now, it's real tempting to start pulling on it, but there's a couple things that are connected, and this is what's important. Right under here, let me get my little flashlight. Okay, I'm back. Now, on the clutch side, so we're on the clutch side, just underneath our hood here. Um, right there, you can see that that is where our air boot hooks up, and right there, you got a airflow sensor. So you got to disconnect that sensor and then twist this boot. So right here, um, there's this little rubber boot here with your clamp and that allows you to spin um, this, what is that, counterclockwise? No, clockwise I guess it would be. You lift up on this tab right there and then you can spin it, but not until you disconnect that um, sensor up there. So. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna set my light up here and do this as best I can for you guys so you understand. All right, so you can see that clip up there. I'm just gonna take my screwdriver, pry out on that clip, kind of push it up, that side's up. Um, be careful not to break it. Like I almost did right there because I'm not paying attention to know what I'm doing. All right, there's that one up and then you can just push up on it and boom, she's right out. Now, if yours has never been taken out, um, that might be a lot harder to do, but uh, mine's been out a couple times. So now I'm going to lift up on my tab right here and spin my air boot connection. There you go. Now we're disconnected. So this side is totally free. Let's go over to the other side and I'll show you what you need to disconnect over there. Okay, this side over here, see I'm coming down right below my vent there. This side's really tough. All you have to do, pull that little hose off. That's it. This whole thing will come off now. Okay, now with everything loose on the other side um, and this side, you can go ahead and pull up on your gauge cluster here and you can undo that clip right there that holds in your speedo and tack and all your good stuff right there, that big gray one, that big gray clip. Super easy to undo. You just push on that tab, pull it off, and then the whole cluster comes off. Now that you've got that done, um, there's one more connector right here. This goes to your headlights and to um, your auxiliary stuff. So in my case, I've got a 12 volt plug right here um, that I use to charge my phone and whatever else I need to charge. So um, with that being off, slide this hood back a little bit. I'm kind of doing this one handed, so bear with me. And there you go. You have access to the entire thing pretty much. So when I did my spark plugs the first time, um, I didn't remove the hood, but man, I wish I would have, because look at how much access you have right here. You can do plugs so easy on this thing. Um, so if you're on the mountain, make sure you carry a T25. Uh, that way you can pull your hood off. Um, if you need to do plugs, check anything out, figure out what's going on with your sled. You know, for as long as that took to do, it's, <laughs> it's really easy. Once you do it once or twice, it just comes off super quick. Just like anything else. Yeah, if this helped, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.